Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. If you send me your Bible questions, I promise I'll do my best to give you a biblical answer. I'm not a Bible answer man, but I will tell you what I think and what I believe the Bible teaches. And I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast today where you can send me your Bible questions. We have a question today about angels from a listener who writes, Hello, Mike. I've been listening to your question and answer program. I think I've listened to just about every one of them. And so I thought I'd send a question, and I have one about angels. And his question is this. Do angels ever do anything wrong? Are angels perfect? Well, I would say that morally speaking, the good angels are perfect. They must be, because Jesus in the Gospel of Luke referred to them as holy angels. And also, angels exist in the presence of God in heaven, and we know that nothing that is sinful can exist in the very presence of God. So I would say that morally speaking, angels, yes, they are perfect. Now, that doesn't mean that they are perfect in every other way. Angels are not omniscient. They don't know everything about everything and everything about everyone like God does. They are not perfect in the sense of being everywhere at the same time. They're not omnipresent either. They are also not perfect in power. They are not like God, who is omnipotent. Angels can sometimes struggle. Angels are not perfect in their service to God. And the example that comes to my mind immediately is a story that is told in the book of Daniel. Daniel had been fasting and praying for three weeks and God sent the answer to his prayer immediately. But it took a while for Daniel to get his answer. It was sent by the hand of an angel. And notice in chapter 10 of Daniel, verse 10, let me read it for you. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had thus spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I came for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me once and one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. So Daniel started praying and fasting. And the moment he started praying and fasting, God sent this angel with the answer to his prayer. But it took three weeks. It took three weeks because this angel who was perfect morally, ran into trouble from a demon. And a demon somehow did hand-to-hand -hand combat with this good angel and withstood him. He couldn't get through to Daniel until Michael showed up and gave him a hand. So God's angels are perfectly holy. God's angels are very powerful. But God's angels sometimes have trouble carrying out God's command, and they need help from other angels. So they're not perfect in that sense. Perfect morally? Yes. Perfect in every other way? No. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.